Hello everybody, this is All South Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ori in the Blind Forest. In the previous episode, we managed to get a hold of the Gumon Seal and entered the Forlorn Ruins to discover that, well, the Gumon, which apparently is a Gumo, are Gumo's people, have all frozen to death. Yikes. Well, can't go that way because guess what? Those heated panels will hurt us. So, for the time being, let's try and avoid them. The Gumon were crafty inventors. They'd foreseen a bright future that never came. Look at this light vessel. They were able to store the light of the spirit tree within. Yes, and we need to carry this light vessel. Use the light vessel to activate and walk over Gumon structures without taking damage. Yes, it will protect us. Now, this is where it gets tricky, because even though I'm moving up now, I still have to press left. Alright, it can't quite reach me. Now, in order to drop... We need to let go of this. It gets a little weird and challenging at times. You, nope, 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 nope. Oh, come on. <sighs> you know, another thing about it, there might be something back there we could collect. Let me just make sure I'm not missing out on something. I mean, it doesn't look like I am. Hold on. Let me put this down. Save. Save. Alright. That way I don't have to deal with the cutscene again. Really? Aha! There is a secret. Knew it. Uh, oh, right, I wanted to get Soul Link efficiency next. Okay, now that we've got that... Let's get back to our regularly scheduled continuation of the story. And try to not get killed again. Okay, let's try to not fall in this time. Wait until they come apart, then quickly get across. Unfortunately, I'm not close enough to be able to hit this guy without being in danger. Especially with the landmines it drops. Let's just launch this back of the spider. So we don't have to worry about him anymore. Ah, 
Oh, come on. It's like, I know I should save, but the problem is I only got one energy, and I don't know when I'm next going to get an energy pickup. Come on. Let's get this over with. Mm. Alright. You know what? Screw it. Save here. Not yet. Ow. I get the feeling there's a secret up there. Ah, screw it. I can come back another time and yay, energy pickup. Hmm. I'm gonna have to come back around for that, aren't I? Yep, I am. Oh no, come on! Okay, that is unfair. Miss one jump and you're just caught in a death pit. Because it wasn't letting me let go of the uh, orb. <sighs> That's the thing. I do think the game is beautiful. Sometimes I think it can be a bit unnecessarily difficult, though that is primarily because the whole saving checkpoint mechanic is linked to your energy. I'm not saying it should be free, but maybe give it a longer cooldown. That way you can't just spam it endlessly. Oh, jeez. Even when upside down, you still got to do this. Those are probably going to hurt me. I think I need to get at that from a different angle. I mean, at the very least, just make those things do instant death damage. At least to speed up the process so I'm not just sitting there waiting while Ori slowly dies. Or heck, you... Mm. Heck, you know what? Just make energy pickups more prevalent. That would at least 
be some decent balancing. Or at the very least, restore a little more. Gonna save here. Are you serious? Come on. Let's try and at least get part way through this dungeon before the end of the episode. Okay, all right, all right. <sighs> there we go. Put it down, put it in the map stone fragments, see what we got. Alrighty then. At least it looks like there's a save point I can use further down. Yes, they kind of knew how frustrating this part was going to be and decided to put that in there for the full heal.
Okay. Not complaining. Just not sure how those projectiles aren't hitting me. I'm being so stingy all of a sudden with my energy, because I know I'm probably going to need it, that's why. And I mean need it at another time, but... Full energy restore, don't be stingy, use it when you need it. Now they start hitting me. Honest, the Forlorn Ruins basically being one big escort mission, not that fun. I mean, yes, I know I also suck at the game, but still. <sighs> okay, put it down, save, and then... I fall to my death. Because carrying objects severely limits Ori's jumping capabilities. You know what? I probably should have seen that one coming. Sure, that's how they wanted me to get there, but okay. Let me just put this down so I can get back to the floor. Alright, let's make another save here. Oh, 
Oh, yay. Level up. Can't make too much use of it, though. And I'm going to make another save here. Hmm. Wait, how do I... Huh. How do I get back over there? You know what? That'll have to do. Alright, I got all four of those. Let me take care of that spider. And you know what? Let's see. It's right over there. Let's just make a save, refill everything. I'm gonna put this down so we can actually move quickly. Because what do we got? Huh. Oh, we got Gumo trying finding the uh, tomb of his people. Yay, no more having to escort the orb around. The shrine must have powered all they had built. Look at it now. Look what it did. Look at Gumo finding the remains of his people. Now, is there something hidden over here? Nope, there is not. Alright, now that we've got our mobility back, and don't have to worry about escorting this dang orb, let's see if we can't do a bit better at getting through here. I wonder if Gumo knows of their fate. I hope he can forgive us that we live and they are gone. Well, I'm pretty sure he knows by now. Hmm. Oh, there has to be something over there. I just have to find my way over without getting blasted. Case. I'm not taking any chances. Really? Not going to let me create a soul link here, huh? Okay. Don't know how that suddenly was unsafe.
Okay. Soul Link here. That's gonna, yep. Really? All that for a bunch of soul light? Oh, nope. And a life cell. Yay. Okay, worth it. Especially considering I was gonna have to come back here anyways for that. Now how do I get up and out of here? Ah, there we go. <sighs> you know what? That one's on me. What? Okay, I think that's a good point to end this episode off here for today. It is a good game. I just feel like there's some balancing that could be done, especially with the whole energy save system. Perhaps adding some more places to get energy from, or... I'm to think of it. Do ener enemies drop energy? I'm not sure. Well, doesn't matter. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, I'd understand if you didn't. Please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.